Hi friends, welcome back to Candable. This is Engineer Brian Omar. And in this tutorial, uh, we will use these four 3D modeling commands in AutoCAD that is extrude, loft, revolve and sweep with examples. Uh, so basically you have to change your workspace settings from drafting and annotation to 3D modeling. Uh, by default uh, in AutoCAD, uh, it is set to drafting. So you have to change it from drafting to 3D modeling. Okay. Uh, currently my view is uh, uh, top view and uh, it is a 2d wireframe uh, so basically i have to change it from 2d view to uh, isometric view that is 3d also uh, i don't want this uh, right here so just right click uh, go to here ucs icon settings and select this one show ucs at origin so it will go back to here okay uh, first of all i will start with this uh, uh, extrude command and uh, I'll go to here, Google Chrome and here you can see the example of extrude. Uh, basically, uh, it takes out a uh, 2D sketch and uh, uh, you can uh, uh, drag or press it in uh, uh, any direction, in upward direction, in downward direction or in both directions. You can see some more examples here. Uh, you can create uh, uh, extrude with taper and this taper is also called draft angle and basically you uh, see these uh, drafts in uh, uh, molded parts and uh, you can see this extrude is uh, uh, is a very simple extrude with the uh, zero uh, taper and this is the inward uh, extrude with a taper of 10 degree and this is the outward uh, extrude with a taper of 10 degree okay so i will create a very basic uh, extrude uh, let's go to your autocad and here i am in 3d as you can see here as well uh, so i will start with the line and let's say i will make one line here and that is uh, 10 units and then uh, let's say 15 units and then let's say this line would also be 10 units then go back and let's say this would be like uh, 6 units go back uh, let's say 4 units and then let's say this one is uh, 4 units also this is 4 and uh, I will join this to this line okay uh, now you can see that uh, we have a close contour but you can see that these are separate lines okay so i have to join these so first i will select these one by one and then i'll go to here command line and i will write join and i will select enter and now you can see that it is converted into a polyline uh, now i can use this extrude command and here you can see that we have a closed sketch and by having closed sketch we create solid extrudes okay so i'll go to here extrude and uh, select objects to extrude this one press enter and i will drag uh, it let's say in the right direction uh, four four units and select okay uh, so basically we have created uh, our sketch in yz plane uh, this one and we have extruded in the x direction and uh, basically we have to change this uh, to let's say conceptual so that uh, you can see the 3d okay uh, we can also create extrude using a uh, line command let's say this one and this is the uh, uh, this is not a close sketch okay you uh, we can create uh, these types of uh, extrudes uh, using surface extrude so i will go to here extrude i will select this line and i will select this line i will press enter and now you can see that we can simply extrude it in either direction uh, well next command is the a uh, lofted command and the example the best example of lofted command is the uh, fuse large of the aeroplane and the wings of the uh, aeroplane uh, as you can see here uh, we can create uh, this profile using lofted command and we can also create uh, these wings using lofted command you can see here we have multiple sections and uh, then we loft uh, using the guides and paths as well so let's go to here autocad and uh, let's say i will start with the circle command and i am still in 3d so i will write let's say one circle having uh, radius 10 or maybe i will change it to 6 and uh, well next is uh, another circle and it is concentric above uh, let's say 8 units and uh, let's say another circle 
and uh, let's say this circle is somewhere here and it is four units okay uh, now i can create uh, a lofted section and we can also use uh, a guide curves as well uh, but i will create a very simple uh, uh, lofted body so let's go to here loft i will select this uh, cross section this section and this section and here you can see the preview of this uh, uh, lofted body select enter and now it is asking you to add any guide uh, any guide curve any path curve or uh, only cross section so i will select this one cross section only and uh, it is done so that's how you create uh, uh, lofted bodies in uh, autocad it is a very simple one okay uh, next is uh, i will sorry i'll go to autocad next command is uh, revolve and the best example of revolve command is uh, bottle uh, basically you create a half section of the bottle and you revolve it 360 degree uh, we can revolve it uh, uh, let's say in this example 270 degree or any uh, desired degree uh, i will create this section and i will revolve it uh, let's say 360 degree a full uh, revolution uh, so i will start with the line command again and uh, let's say this is 10 units and then uh, 5 units then 5 units then 10 units and then this would be like uh, 15 units and then i will join it with this vertex uh, and now you can see that we have a closed sketch uh, also uh, we want this line this is the center of revolution of this uh, revolve so let's say i will make one line maybe here okay or maybe i will drag it uh, here okay so it will not interfere with this loft so i will go to here revolve uh, first i will uh, let's say uh, join these uh, lines i will go to here command line and i will write join and i will select this one now it is a uh, 3d polyline uh, i'll go to here revolve and uh, it is asking select objects to revolve so this one press enter and now it is asking the axis so this is the axis and now uh, you can see the revolution so let's say uh, i want uh, 270 degree revolution okay not 360 degree uh, now you can see that this is the 270 degree revolution uh, of this uh, section uh, uh, it's a quite big uh, comparing with these but that's okay uh, next is uh, uh, we will use this command sweep and the best example of sweep command is the use of a pipe and basically it takes uh, a path and a cross section so let's go to autocad and uh, let's write uh, first path so let's say i will draw one line having dimensions 30 units and then uh, 30 units okay press enter to go back and here we have a sharp corner select fillet I'll go to your radius five units select enter and i will select this one and this one uh, now we can use uh, sweep command so i will draw one circle here having dimensions five units and uh, also i will join this uh, path using join command okay now it is a single uh, solid line uh, now i'll go to your sweep and it is asking set objects to sweep uh, let's say this one select enter sweep path this one and now you can see that we have a pipe uh, it is not a good looking pipe because uh, it needs more radius so just press z and uh, let's say uh, let's say i will make a fillet having radius 10 units this one this one now it is looking much better uh, I will draw cross section 5. I will go to here sweep. I will select uh, first. I have to join. Sorry, I will join this one. This one go to here join 
and now it is a single solid line i'll go to the sweep select objects to sweep this one press enter and then this one now you can see that we have a much better looking pipe uh, so that's how we create simple objects in autocad using extrude uh, loft revolve and sweep command uh, i hope you like it and if you, if you have any questions related to this or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos thank you